Emma Skate. Today I'm going to be reading to you Our House is on Fire, Greta Thunberg's Call to Save the Planet, Planet by Jeanette Winter. You are never too small to make a difference, Greta Thunberg. Our house is on fire. Greta is a quiet girl who led a quiet life in the city of Stockholm. Her dog, Roxy, was her friend. All my life, I've been invisible. There she is with her dog, Roxy. Here she is thinking she's invisible. The invisible girl in the back who doesn't say anything. In school, she felt alone. Then one day, Greta's teacher talked to the class about the climate about how our planet is getting warmer, about how the polar ice is melting, about how animals' li lives are threatened, and ours too. Where's Greta? That's when Greta's life changed. She read for hours and watched film after film about our, our warming world. Greta could think about one thing for a long, long time. She saw ice melting into the sea, disappearing. She saw mighty winds and torrential rains howling across the land. She saw coral reefs deep down in the sea, pale as ghosts, bleached by the warming waters. Greta saw living creatures everywhere, struggling to stay alive. Argos making his usual appearance. Greta saw floodwaters covering houses and people and animals. She saw cities swallowed under rising oceans. She saw the smoldering sun scorch the earth, leaving it bone dry. She saw blazing wildfires racing through the forests. <laughs> Our house is on fire. Look at her house on fire. Our house. Greta became sad, thinking about the climate all the time. She barely ate or spoke. Those pictures were stuck in my mind. The sad days went on for a long time, each day more unhappy than the next. There might not be a world to live in when she grows up. What use is school without a future? What can I do, she wondered. Here's Greta with Roxy thinking. There she is, figuring out what she's gonna do. Greta decided to go on, this, on strike from school for the climate. Her parents understood her. Her parents supported her. She went on strike. She didn't go to school, that's what... Hmm. Greta skipped school one Friday and took her poster, School Strike for Climate, to the parla Parliament Building to sit on strike. She hoped lawmakers would see her. People walked past, too busy to notice. Greta was invisible there too. She was at the parliament building every Friday, even in the rain. Then word of her strike began to spread little by little. Other school strikers joined her. On Fridays, Stockholm schools were a bit empty. More people started noticing the child strikers and word spread through cyberspace about the Friday school strikes. Children started striking everywhere. If grown-ups won't act to save the planet, children will. The quiet girl who always felt invisible was asked to speak very important to very important people at the United Nations climate talks in Poland. Greta only spoke when she thought it was necessary. 
You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their eyes. We need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground. Here's Greta. The quiet girl was invited to speak to important people at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. It was necessary to speak. I don't want to be hopeful. I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I feel every day. I want you to act as if the house was on fire because it is. Greta's protest all alone sparked a worldwide children's march. Her quiet voice joined by thousands of voices became a roar. Can you hear us? Science, not silence. Don't burn my future. Our house is on fire. Our future is in your hands. It's our future. There is no planet B. You're destroying our future. Global warming is not healthy. Save Eden. Help me. The water is rising. So are we. Polar ice. Science, not silence. It's my future. Save our planet. No more excuses. What will you do? What will you do to save our planet? Cook some cow. Have a good day.